South Africa and a very warm welcome to you. My name is Jeannie D and this is my favorite afternoon express. Now, of course, it's Tuesday, which means it's our cook along. And every week at this time, you get to make dinner along with us and our very special celeb guest live on air. So today we are keeping things traditional with the South African staple, Clover Masi, and we are using it in two ways, one savory and one sweet. However, we do have our very legendary Clem Pedro um, uh -huh. in the loft with us today. And of course, we often bring in another very special chef. And today's one is very today's special. Today's guest chef is also very special, not because that she's famous or anything. In fact, she should be, because she is a behind the scenes superstar. In fact, almost, almost every day when you watch the show, there's someone who's behind the scenes who really is Clem's right, Clem's right hand man or Clem's behind the scenes man. In fact, so much so that she's literally always behind right the now. scenes. <laughs> she's always behind Clem every step of the way. Welcome to the show. Well, Thank welcome you guys. to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Thank mm. you. I mean, we've mentioned it a few times. It's about time that the country sees who this Gail is. Exactly. So, Gail, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Today, we thought that it would be most apt to have you on the show cooking this dish because this, in fact, is your recipe, as are a lot of the recipes that we have on the show. Clem comes up with, with a lot of the recipes, and, and, and you guys work as a team. Absolutely. Yeah, we work together. So, explain to me what we are making today because. I looked at this and it was empty and I was expecting lunch. <laughs> Gail actually hides all the props from me daily because I come into the show and I'm always ravenous and she knows that I've got, you know, a, a delicate palate and I like to eat everything in this loft every day. So she hides them from me. So what have you hidden from me from these beautiful bamboo baskets today? So today we're making <laughs> soup dumplings. Okay. Right. So when you think of soup dumplings, you think soup, yeah. soup dumplings. Yeah. But today we're actually putting the soup inside the dumplings. And can the dumpling actually contain the soup so that you, you break the dumpling oh, open yes. to, uh -huh. to have an exploding There's soup? There's also a very special way in eating those dumplings. Well, look I mean, at I'm you. excited. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. I am beyond, I think it's gonna be my favorite cook along ever. Me too, because you know why? Eating is a whole experience. So I think if you've got like an exciting way to get the, to the meal, it just, it, it increases the experience, no? Mm -hmm. It does. Thank you so much. Did you invent this? I did, Clem helped me. We always work okay. together on everything, so yeah. I'm so excited to get this done today. Now, if you want today's recipe and shopping list sent to your device, simply SMS the keyword EAT, to 33650. SMS is 1 Rand 50 each and no free SMSs apply. And as always, we are streaming live right now on YouTube. So you can keep your device with you in the kitchen and follow along, especially if you're as bad as I am in the kitchen that you literally need Clem and Gail on, like hanging on their every word, telling you what to do, because they really are amazing. The lines are open on. 21 especially if you've got any culinary questions or if you get stuck along the way and then ah oh, our special guest today is also here she's fabulous and she's best known for her role as dr ntabeleng in muvango but off stage she spends her time with hubby and fellow tv star kulos njengana along with their two adorable children now she's got one of the most hilarious and entertaining instagram accounts in south africa and she's probably somewhere off screen right now recording her next video however we know that she's not <laughs> she's here with us it's mona without the lisa mona <laughs> I'd like to introduce How? you to my everyday crush, forever, always, and forever. The garage door. The garage door is always there for us, you know, it's always helping us just look pow in our pictures on Instagram. It adds, but it does not take away. Do you understand? It doesn't photobomb you. It doesn't attract attention. It doesn't... Wait till you don't have to choose who am I looking at? The door or her? The door or her? She's looking at me. It's always there for us. Come rain, come sunshine. It's always this brown, delicious, shiny color. But not the glimmer. But not the glimmer. Look at me in front of the garage door. Look at me in front of the garage door. It's like the Michelle to Beyonce. It does not attract attention. It just gives. It gives. Yes! Pa! 
Pow, garage door. Pow. Thank you. Thank you so yes, much. yes, pow. 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 Pow, garage door. I mean, when you're filming those things. Yes. How many takes do you take before you post? I try to restrict it to three mags. Okay. Like, and only if I really feel like I want to express it in different ways. And then how far do you plan it? So do you write the script or are you just go, you know what, I'm feeling it. No, and then you start I rolling. plan nothing. And it just all comes you out. You know what it is? It's like, I'm a hilarious person. You <laughs> are hilarious. <laughs> you are hilarious. <laughs> I'm obsessed. No, it's, it's like, um, I used to love, what's that show? Um, whose line is it anyway? Yes. Right? And then they get like these clips and then you just have to flow and you have to go with it. And yeah. I'm theater trained, got my BA drama in theater. So like, I'm just all about thinking on your feet. So if something pops into my head and I go, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, let me do this. And I pull out the phone and I post it. You know, Trevor Noah's now hired an African correspondent to do Africa. And I think the people, like the guy that he hired, is also, it's exactly that. It's somebody who you know, thinks on their feet and can handle pr improv. That's exactly. essentially what you, you did. You have to be able to improv. I love improv. Uh, improv is so fun. It is. But it's hard to do. It's a very, it very difficult skill. You have to be witty. I think yeah. the, the biggest thing is live, have life experience. Everybody's like book smart, right? So yeah. it's like, oh yes, you have to copy and repeat. Co no, like go live life, go experience some things. Yeah. And then you find the humor in how you approach it. Like if you just have a positive approach. I love satire. So I'm always about sure. like saying important things, but like covering it in humor. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the garage door is, is amazing. That's the best kind of humor, actually, is when you, yeah. when there's, when, that's why you like the word <laughs> pow so much. Because what you say packs a punch. Yes. But it's done in a way that yes. people think it's funny, but actually it's, it's got a serious connotation exactly. to it. Exactly. Exactly. What's funny about this video is that Plascon then like calls me. I don't know where they get my you just number. Have, have your shame this Where do you people worry. get my number? <laughs> no. So they call me and they're like, oh my God, you're so hilarious. Here's some varnish. So now my beautiful garage door is about to get a pow of her own. Oh, wow. I'm very okay. happy about that. With that kind of sense of humor means yeah. that it, there's a lot of thought and a lot of intelligence and a lot of... When did you discover that you were talented and smart and that this was your dream and that to pursue it mm. to be a career and not just, oh, I'm good at this, because it's a difficult thing to take it on as a career. Mm. When did you know that this was your thing? Um, in terms of acting, I think I've always wanted to act. I've always loved storytelling. Yeah. Um, and I used to be like a huge bookworm growing up and I loved fantasy novels. So it was always about like, where can we escape and how can we create yeah. different realities and tell different stories? So um, I think when I was 13, I had that moment. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be an actress. Boom, yeah. it's done. The the vlogging thing was not intentional. Yeah. But hey, man. It's working for you. Instagram you know loves you. I mean, You've got like almost 300,000 followers. Here she is. She's so they're know. loving you. Yes, no. No, um, so this one, I actually even have moments where I'm like, okay, uh, when, how long am I going to do this for? Yeah. Because it's, I don't know. There's a lot of vloggers out there and they really put in a lot of effort and like time and it's like hectic yeah. and they have YouTube channels and you know, you have to really keep producing yes. content. And for me, I'm like, okay, I talk all the time. At some point on people are gonna get annoyed. Do you ever think, because nowadays everybody wants to be a YouTuber and a blogger, yeah. so I was thinking, is anyone, like in the future, is anyone going to have a real job or is everyone just going to yeah, be everybody will be YouTube. sitting at home like, Is everyone uh, just going to be Insta-famous or are they going to be real jobs? Let me just get to work and pull out the phone <laughs> clocking in. Yeah, no, I think that's where we're going, hey? No. I really do. It's actually quite amazing how much time we spend on our phones yeah. and maintaining an Instagram page is also like a lot of it's data. Telcom. I mean, I Some love it. Me. I want it to be my permanent job forever. You know, but you've got such an amazing job. Tell us a little bit about your character on Movango. I actually haven't been on Movango for like two and years. And what's it called? Kalasi. Kala Kala Kalushi, Kalushi was a movie on Solomon yeah. Movango that came out in 2016. Uh, last time I was on Movango was actually two years back. Even though people are still like, oh, when are you coming back? And she's not coming back. Why she's isn't she back. coming back? Um, I left. I left two years ago. Yeah. So I really, I think the confusion was I was in the title sequence for a long time yeah. afterwards. Um, but I'm not coming Coming back to that, Kalushi, I played Comrade Eve, which is like a, yeah, it was a strong television. Character. 
bad, powerlicious, yeah. strong woman. Um, and it was basically on the story of Solomon Matlangu and uh, explaining, you know, what happened during the struggle and how he was actually executed by the apartheid government. Wow. And, you know, the character that I play is the strong black woman. And I think a lot of people had this misconception that women weren't fighting at that kind of a level during the struggle, but they were hectic warriors, eh? Now, speaking about warriors, let's just con discuss Skanjane. Skanjana. 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 It's like I'm a warrior. Madonna. That's my girl. I can't pronounce hey, Kelly, it. It's okay. It's, it's Let me know, tell you, I try. Yeah. But That's there's something, my, my brain doesn't trip for a lot of things. Mm. And pronunciation for a lot of things no. just doesn't work. It but happens. tell me about your Skanjana. Ish. What do you want to know? Your warrior. Oh, my warrior. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You know what? It's a very special um, kind of love. I mean, you show a lot is. of it on Instagram. It, it just looks like the two of you have so much fun together. We, that's my bestie, man. Yeah. Like, for real. Oh, I love her. Yes. That's my bestie. I really believe in the concept of soulmates. Yeah. Um, I think that your soulmate as well is not somebody who you, you would, like, usually... I dated before this, obviously. Yeah. You know? But when I met him, it was a matter of meeting somebody who has all the fundamentals. You know what I mean? Like, if our fundamentals are the same mm. and we understand each other, but it, it felt uh, spiritual, this connection. Mm. It felt beyond us. You know, yeah. we're both uh, African spiritualists, so we really do believe in the, the, the presence of our ancestors. Um, and we really feel like they ordained our coming together. So it's, it's amazing, yeah. I guess our biggest challenges are even external than they are internal, which is yeah. what is refreshing. Because yeah. when I used to date previously, it was like all of the problems you cause for each other. Do you think because other. he's in your industry, you've yeah. got an easier understanding of the kind of lives you lead? Yeah. No, that's a big thing. Yeah. You have to have common. I, I guess there are people who can make it work, but for us, it really does help because the hours are crazy and the yeah. depression, the stress and all of that. So when you have somebody who understands, then it's way smoother. It's way smoother. And having a family, obviously. Yeah. No easy feat. <laughs> I know. But I mean, you make it look like it's just, you were made I for this I always role. wanted a family. Yeah. You know, I think that's the thing. If you didn't want kids, you don't <clears throat> have to feel forced to have them, you know? Because yeah. when you do have them, it's, <clears throat> it's better to love and be happy with where you are. Like, yeah. when I fell pregnant the first time, I was very much like, okay, do I want a child? Am I yeah. ready? And I was like, okay, cool, I am. And that's where you go, regardless sure. of whether you're in a relationship. You yeah. know, you shouldn't be having kids for your partner. You need to totally. also take care of that. And then you see, as you're a mother, sure. that, yeah, no, they need you 24-7. But that's so difficult, especially as a woman mm. and as an independent woman mm. in the spotlight and in the public eye. I'm confronted with those questions all the time because I'm at an age where people expect me to have children. Mm. And it's, don't you think it's so difficult trying to reconcile what other people want for you and what you want for yourself? Oh and goodness. the conversation between what you can handle and what other people's expectations are. Because mm. I, I, sometimes you get snowed in and you don't know what, like to separate, what do I want, what do other people want for me? How do you manage You know what that? I think, and this is where my vlogging started because I fell pregnant with my second child like when my first child was seven months old. Yeah. And people thought they had an opinion about my body. Now, this is the thing. You know, we all have our own bodies. Yeah. yeah and we can do whatever we want with them. And mm. let's just keep it there. So yeah. I'm a huge advocate for the fact that a woman is more than her reproductive organs in all ways. Like, we can't be a slave queen and a baby mama and a makoti. And you know what I mean? It's like all of these limitations. A woman is a soul just like any other human being. Like yeah. She has a mind, she has a soul, she has a heart. Yeah. She's not just her uterus. Yeah. So what she chooses to do with it is up to her. And that's actually what started this madness of these videos. Because I told people, I'm like, but it's... Do you think it's your, your it's body, cathartic man. outlet? It is cathartic. Yeah. When you are part of a production, like when I was part of Mubango, you are so restricted, you know? Yeah. Like people saw my character and they thought that's exactly how I am. Yeah. And she was older and she was a doctor. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, she can act, but she is not that person. Honey, do not step to sure. me. You know what I mean? So I was like, yeah. those people, I'm like, I am very opinionated. I'm very strong. I know who I am and know where mm -hmm. I'm going. I know who's important to me. So let's just understand the respect yeah. boundaries, you know? And people can really invade that. Oh. So I had to just set yeah. it straight, yeah. you know, just say, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> don't play here, don't play here, it's not your, your backyard, 
Yeah. You know, it's not, some people aren't, some things in your life aren't for other people. It's not you for give all enough. Of no, you, we are here for a purpose. Each yeah. and every one of us has a purpose to fulfill. We cannot adjust our purpose according to other people, you yeah. know? And I think if you're a person, take the time to realize who you are and what you're meant to be doing in this world before you want to start restricting the movements and the yeah. explorations of others, you know? Are you affected by it? Like, do you, do you, um, when you read co the comments and when you listen to people's things, does it, does it, do, do you take it? You know what? Um, all of us have that inner child, yeah. you know, um, before you find yourself as a woman, you come into yeah. yourself. When I got pregnant and had a baby, that's actually when, for me, I was like, wow, I'm so much more powerful than I ever imagined. And I had home births, you know, because yeah. I'm traditional like that. So sure. I, I hate, I hate You're hospitals. Brave. I hate them. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't, I can't do yeah. hospitals. But um, I had home births and I did it and I, without painkillers and they, you know, and I was like, oh, okay, she's a superhero, oh, yes, I'm God, you know. Um, but yes, there are certain comments because they touch that young girl who mm. was insecure. Like for yeah, instance, people are obsessed with my lips. Now I intentionally do nothing Listen, to myself. Listen, you've got pretty fabulous lips. Girl, <laughs> you understand? But now they are here. So the thing is, I've got like Vada logo situation because I used to, when I was growing up, and I'm very open about the struggles that I've gone through because you go through them for a reason. Um, I was like sexually abused and I was bullied and it was a lot of that and I used to bite my lips, you know? So every time they peeled, I used to bite. So I've literally like grazed away and I have like this two-tone situation. And then you have, you know, the, the wonderful sweethearts at home <laughs> who feel like they want to comment. And this is the thing. Um, you do touch that little girl who was so insecure about them, who wants to cover them up. You know, I always like want to cover it. But I was like, no, because we come with physical flaws. However, that's not what I want you to focus on. Look past that and listen to this. Can I be honest with you? <laughs> yes. Anybody who has the privilege to sit with you and chat with you for a few minutes will never even consider any of that Aww, because your light you. and who you are is just sensational. Thank Today you. we are celebrating you as a woman. We're going to be in the kitchen. We're going to be having so oh, much fun. Oh and I'm so pleased to have you. And it's my birthday today. month. And it's your birthday month. <laughs> <laughs> Mona will be joining us in the kitchen today as we put her through her paces. So get your pots ready. Get your pans ready. The cook-along starts after the break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We are coming to you live on SABC3 because the stage is yours, my darlings. And today we are cooking along with Mona and of course the very fabulous Gail that we've got in the kitchen today. And we are making some magic. I'm, like I was listening, but I wasn't really. So thank goodness you are listening <laughs> now because we'll tell you exactly what you need to do in a while. However, yes. 
Right. You've got some news for me. Which is, I think this is very important news. So our viewers at home, they know we buy all our beautiful ingredients from Woolworths when we go shopping. But something, another thing that we actually do, every time we go shopping, we actually give back to a charity yes. of our choice by using our Willie's My School card. Mm. So we selected the Chuck Foundation as our, like, whoever, they're going to benefit from our spending. Yeah. And we do a lot of shopping, all right? So what's yeah. very important is, besides the fact we do a lot of shopping, we give back quite a bit. And it's the easiest way to do that. Mm -hmm. You literally just swipe the card, and then Willie's gives back on your behalf. Yeah, do so you have a My School card? I've got the card and I've got an app, which is actually pretty cool. Have you got a My School card? We, you know what, that's a great thing. You can actually go on the app and actually see how much has been given back, awesome. which is really great. Okay, so no, everyone sitting at home, this is actually really important because I do this personally in my own life. When you go to Woolies and you're shopping, they said you have a My School card. It costs you nothing. Fill in the little form when you are there, and then you just fill in all of your details. Essentially, whatever you buy in those groceries, they'll take a percentage of what you spend, and they will donate that to an organization of your choice. Mm -hmm. Our choice is Chuck. We would love your choice to be Chuck as well, but it's, it's completely up to you. And then everything that you spend goes to that organization. So, I mean, shop till you drop but as long as you know that it's going to a good cause so you've got to get yourself a mask oh girl I'm cow I'm right. I'm gonna... cow, cow. cow. <laughs> so today's ingredients all of it came from Willie so we're giving back in a big way let's start off with the fillings right so yeah. we team chicken we're not chicken by any means hey but you chicken know, is the way it's the way it's, it's the, the way feature chicken. and then they are team pork, are team pork? they're going to do the proper oh. soup dumplings are we going to do like the traditional one but Gail, tell us about that soup though. How do you get the soup in there? So, right, what it basically is, yeah. is a super gelatinous soup base that's just set in the fridge and that gets folded in your mix. Super gelatinous. Super gelatinous. Sure. It's like the collagen for your lips. Yeah. And then it just goes but this is a real one. What you actually do is we take pork trotters and pork skins <laughs> and we slowly cook it and that gelatinous oh, that, like, that all comes out. Actually, that's why if you're a vegetarian, you need to look out for vegetarian gelatin because most of it's actually all made from pork trotters. So, that's so what was this all homemade? That's all homemade. All Gail made. I don't eat. This is Gail made. Yeah. There's no such thing as homemade in my life. It's all Gail made. Yeah. All Clem made. Yeah. Okay. So Mo was just yeah. saying that she doesn't eat pork, so I that's why pork. we team chicken over here. Yes. Right, so I'm, gonna ask I'm you guys Portuguese. There's full on racial profile. <laughs> right All right, cool. So let's get started on the fillings. Pretty much the same fillings for both sides, except okay. they're gonna have the the gelatine and yeah. we're not, and we're gonna have some yeah. celery. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna chop real fast and then put you on it. Okay. Oh, chop. Do you want mix? And if you want today's yeah, recipe, again. of course, while they're doing all the chopping, send directly to your phone. All you need to do is SMS the keyword eat to double three six five zero. SMS is a one round fifty each, and no free SMSs apply. If you've got any questions for our guests during the show, you can call in live on 021-430-9881. And eat is what we love to do in this place. So cutting the onions. Look how easy you make that. And then you are, are cutting you the celery. I love, love celery. Like what have you thrown in there? Okay, so what we've got already, we've got, ooh, we've got some sesame oil, some oil's gone in there. Mona's actually allergic to peanuts, we spoke about that, so yeah. it's nothing peanut going in there. Yeah. And then we've got a f fermented chili bean paste sauce going in there. You can buy that in sure. any Asian supermarket. Yeah. Mona's giving a good mix. And it also gives it that nice, like, vibrant red colour. Ooh. And then again, roasted garlic. And if you guys want to know where the roasted garlic comes from in Afternoon Express lot, it's Gail. She does it like every Monday she comes in Ooh. and she roasts like a whole forest of garlic for us. This actually smells good. I know it they smells say so that, good. this smells good. I wouldn't suggest tasting it now because you know mm. that, that salmonella? It's great. <laughs> if you want to lose weight, it's amazing, but not today. No. Why have you never offered that no. to me? I'm always complaining no. about it. No. <laughs> Do you know that if we always dream, and I always joke of having right. like a, a little oh. Italian or something in the kitchen, mm. he's always doing all the little weaving and all the little cooking and so That's Gail. Gail, <laughs> what are you doing with our pork? Okay, so the same as what Clem is doing, the only thing is I've got pork, so what I'm going to add to it, what? I've already added to it. Yeah. There's some onion. I've got some pak choy over here. Yeah. And then some sesame oil. You can Ooh. taste it if you like. That just releases more flavor. Okay. And then soy sauce, some little bit of maple syrup, fermented chili, yeah. garlic, Ooh. ginger. Ooh, and you're just going to mix that all up. And you raised quite an important point. Because Mona is allergic mm -hmm. to peanuts, it means we can't be cooking at all with peanuts in the yeah. kitchen. Hey, because the yeah. contamination of the allergy is so big. Yeah. What happens? It's, it, I, I don't know, Gail, because I've been avoiding it. 
Okay. You know? But, but back you in the day, obviously like, found out had, at some point no, that I you did. were allergic. I actually did the whole blood test thing yeah. where they test your blood against all the allergy groups and then they were like, here you go, here's a list. So yeah. there's a bunch of them. But it's usually like rash, um, swelling yeah. of the throat type vibe. So I avoid it. Because peanut it. allergies can actually be no, they can the be most fatal. lethal yeah, out of can all be fatal. of them. So we have no... This That's is a peanut-free environment today. Yes! <laughs> okay, but there's lots of garlic. If anybody wants to come on the cook along and they're allergic to garlic, they're not allowed. No, but you can't be allergic to garlic, guys. Is it possible? I don't think oh, so. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm Portuguese. It's our national flower. <laughs> you know? It's the, it's the staple uh, exactly. spice. What is yeah. it? What is it? Herb? What's it? Yeah. It's garlic, like a plant. Yeah, it's, it's a, a plant. Do they call it a plant? It's a bulb. It's a bulb. It's a bulb, yeah. Light's fine. I immediately, <laughs> immediately bought that. Tell me right. something. Are you a good cook naturally? I am amazing. Really? What's I your go to dish? You know what? I actually love making like a mince and um, macaroni, like. Okay. What is a cottage? It's like a cottage pie, cottage but with pies. macaroni without the. Like a macaroni and cheese with mince. Yes. With men. I wouldn't ask me. I don't know how to. <laughs> I like no, it. It's like, so easy. You know what? I should actually teach. It's very easy. And then you pop it in the oven and then you like slice it up and it's amazing. Very Why easy. don't you cook it for your next Insta vid? <sighs> Honey, I'm seeing likes for this days. It's one minute. It's one minute. <laughs> you know, these things take about an hour. <laughs> and, but I'll try to. I'll be like, and. You find this plate. You know, yeah. I'll do it, girl. I'll do it. Who knows? Maybe somebody will give me a show. You never know. I would love it. Okay, so just to give you a quick summary of what we've done, Gail has got our pork and you've added some onion. Some onion, spring onion, garlic, ginger, fermented chili, some soy sauce. And now it looks like she's scoring the gelatine. Is that what you're doing? That is what I'm doing. So what we're going to do really? is we're actually going to mix this in our filling. Okay. And so that's going to be our soup. All right. So we're going to do that in a minute. Quickly recap so what you've done So we've got our chili bean paste in there, some yeah. celery, some carrots, and some bok choy, which are these funky guys over here. Yeah. And then that's we've got some sugar in there, some salt, and some soy sauce, and we are winning. When we come back, we're going to start stuffing those dim sum, those little dumplings, and then we're out. Okay, amazing, because I'm still, I'm still figuring out what we're doing here, but it looks amazing. It looks like it's going to taste great and really healthy. So I really hope you at home are cooking along with us. Remember that you've got to give us a call at any point that you can if you want to chat to any of our, well, call our me. fabulous guests. Call her. She wants to chat. And then, of course, we've got the amazing Gail in the kitchen who's cooking up a storm for us. So please do let us know if you've got any questions or comments. Otherwise, we're going to be mixing all of this stuff together, and we'll see you after the break. Must I mix this? You can mix this. Express yourself. Chuck is one of South Africa's leading organizations who aid families who are affected by childhood cancer. Afternoon Express, together with my school, are committed to helping Chuck raise funds for a newly refurbished home away from home. You can get involved by signing up for your free virtual My School, My Village, My Planet card today. Download the My School app. Select Chuck as one of your beneficiaries and help us make a difference.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Of course, we're cooking along this fantastic Tuesday afternoon. Travel Tuesday, so we're making something exotic. <laughs> now, we've chosen to support Chuck, of course, as we were discussing earlier, and we are asking you at home to join. Throughout the My School fundraising program, we are basically helping Chuck raise funds for their new home in Pretoria. They're building this epic home to help all these children. You can get involved by downloading the free My School app, signing up for your virtual card, and selecting Chuck as your beneficiary. Now, by doing this, you can also stand the chance of winning a 1,000 Rand Woolworths gift voucher. So make sure that you make every swipe count. Now, I'm making every Tuesday count yes. by learning how to cook these incredible things. We've, of course, got Mona in the kitchen with us and Gail and Clem are making us or teaching us to make this amazing soup. I want to call it a soup bomb, but you want to call it a soup dim sum. What? A soup dumpling. A soup dumpling. <laughs> but call it what you want. And I like how you said yeah, that, that we're making you. Then you quickly pause and like we're all making it together. Okay, so now we're going to start wrapping these bad boys. So I've got this beautiful dough here, which is so simple. It's actually just water and flour. We wanted it to be more tender, so we added some of that clover mass in here. And it really makes it super, like, super tender. Okay. Keep it wrapped, because it does dry it very quickly. What you're going to do then Doesn't is... that Ngomasi taste? Yes. It's slightly in sour. In yeah, well, don't you love chicken? that taste, though? But ngomasi and chicken. So for me, <laughs> no, can I be honest with you? We had a guest yesterday who was going, I like ngomasi, like, that's it. And I like it, like, I could literally drink the stuff out of the little carton. But would you drink it with chicken? I had it with chicken yesterday, and it was amazing. We use it to tenderize everything. Don't yesterday you? we had it in, like, little pancakes with corn and everything. It was amazing. And bacon. Don't knock it until you've tried it, girl. Pancake! Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it, it, like, I don't you know. See, we, we're taking it to the world. <laughs> and it is the world. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said yesterday, like, no, you can only have mkumas with, 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 with a little pup. And I was yeah, like, so bread. Wait, wait. Until, Great. not that I'm trying to reinvent the wheel or anything, but trust me, when you see what these guys do with okay. it. Okay, I'm excited. You'll be right. impressed. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about a wrapper. So I've taken a little ball and I've rolled it out. Here comes the part that you have to get right. Okay. Normally when we roll out dough, we roll outwards, right? Yeah. This one, very different, we roll inwards. Huh. Like a little bit of a brain explosion there. Okay. What you can do is... How do you roll it in? Like that. <laughs> do you, need... you see what I'm doing? Oh. So what you're going to end up difference? with is having a base that is slightly thicker than the outside and the rest of the skin. And that's for a reason, because that's going to be the base that the soup or the filling is going to sit on when it goes into our steaming basket. And by the way, I've got two bamboo steamers. And here's a little trick. In the bottom of the pans, we've got water, of course, because that generates a steam. Okay. Then I've got a coin that I've put in the, each of the pans. Actually, did I put them in there? Let's not just test it out. Yes. Can we do look? No, 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 it's very hard. You're going to burn your fingers. Right. So for the sake of TV, I'm going to say it's in there. Ah, okay. Yeah. But here's the thing. As soon as the water starts running out, you don't want it to run dry because you're going to burn your bamboo. Nothing's going to cook. You put the coin in there. Once you, the water starts running low, yeah. the coin starts like dancing at the bottom of the pan. Really? So you know the water's running low and you stop it out. Oh, okay. Aren't we it's like a little alarm. Can I tell you how you know when this thing is heating up? It smells like a sauna. You know that heated wood oh, smell? Yes. That's exactly... Okay, now but I want yummy. to ask you a question, Gail. Like, you're saying that this is soup, but I'm seeing a lot of... Like, you're going to fill it, obviously, with the meat. Yeah, I'm going to fill it. And a it. soup is liquid. So is it going to be a liquid... So what happens is, right? yeah. as soon as you steam this, the solid soup reliquifies, And then when you bite into it, it's like a flavour explosion. Like soup everywhere. You gotta do that with your eyes. Oh. You do that with your eyes. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. I am so excited. I cannot wait to Does taste it. Does it happen with the chicken? Because no. now the jealousy is So, because you see, we there. know that you don't eat the pork. But yeah. here's the thing if you wanted to do it with the chicken, you still want that experience. Make a chicken stock and actually add chicken gelatine stock. to it. And you can get that chicken okay. jelly, chicken jelly soup. But now, doesn't the gelatine still have the pork? Yeah, but are you like, are you, are you, you like, just... I'm like, no pork. You know what, then we're going to go... Are you right? not going to cheat on your diet? No. Today with one I of don't these. eat pork. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then in the case, you would use a vegetarian gelatine. Okay, cool. There we go. Cool. So let's talk about okay. this. Gail, how do we actually... Okay, Gail and I are not experts. We started doing this today. Mm -hmm. The technique the of Guinness. actually sealing that dough in there. So like, we're going to need to keep a careful okay. eye on Gail. Or okay. okay, so Gail's busy doing a first one and then I'm going to copy you because There's I want to try There's a first time it. for everything, guys, and this is my second time today doing this, so... Okay. Fingers crossed. Right. So you kind of stretch it forward, bring it back between your thumb and your index finger, and then pull again and fold over. And then you rotate, and you just kind of carry on pleating. 
until you have 18 feet. Apparently, that's a Chinese lucky number. Sure. Yeah. But if you get 12, it's fine. It's all right. Take those. All right, so we're okay. going to pull back. She's got this Can I try down. this with you? Because you it can. seems like quite a complicated... Well, well, you just, like, it's probably go... easy for like normal <laughs> people, but yeah. for me, I see a level of complication. Can't you just pinch it. and close? Okay, show me your way how you do it. Like this. You know what? <laughs> I can it like this. It's a lot. <laughs> you can make it your Today, own. Today, the power way of doing a, so just a like tumbling. This. Yeah, just, just, just oh, I you think know that looks so pretty impressed. good. You win. Dumps I, think, on queen. I think this might be the best one. No, I'm going Gail's route. But and now, how long does it take? You know what? I think it takes a long time, but more the, I find that food that you really have to work at, you appreciate so it's much more. It's more delicious. It's what? But now, oh, is it I've more lost count? Yes. I feel like tired. I think if you take one, too long two. in the kitchen, like you get tired, you don't even want to eat the food anymore. Six, All right. Okay. Okay, I got, I got one. What do you think about yeah. mine? Yeah. Awesome. Am I winning? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Nine. we're going to keep on doing that. So there we go. I like it. No, that's very cool. So now to go with this, I'm going to make a really quick little sauce, dipping sauce. I actually did dip it the water away. Here we go. So for the dipping sauce, we obviously have to start off with some soy sauce, which I've got over here. And then we're going to go with some spring onions. Spring onions are great because, I mean, if you like onion, but you're worried about that pungent flavor, spring onions are great. You're so proud of your dumplings. Oh, no. All right, so three onions going in. Yeah, like, it's so quiet it. because the level of... No, it's concentration. It this is. is what it's happens. Easier. You must be focused. I think we do, like, you meditation. Then I got all oh. that, <laughs> that chili <laughs> bean paste. Would you actually like it? I would. Yeah, it's really I would. Good. It smells amazing. And yeah. I love chili. I it's love chili. It's not hot at all. I put chili it in everything. It contains umami. Oh, okay. Which is really now, in depth, like, savory flavor. I've heard that in a series once, like an American series. Probably. What is umami? Is it it's a like plant? It's a really savory mouthfeel flavor that you get from food. Yeah. It's like mushrooms have it, cheese have it, meat has it. Oh, it's a flavor. What's it's that? a flavor. I don't need a mocha or a lot of chickens English over there. So but I've made a dumpling <laughs> and it looks amazing. All right. Okay. So essentially, we've taken all of the different meats, team pork and the chickens, and, <laughs> we love it. The chicken. the chicken. <laughs> and we've created our own little dumplings <laughs> using our very unique methods. But so far, it's looking really amazing. Team chicken looking strong. <laughs> it's it looks like going to be amazing. Ours looking even stronger. Which ones do you think are a little bit better? And if you're doing this at home with us, we'd really love to know how you're going at home. If you're making your own little soup dumplings, we'd love to know how you're finding the recipe because this is going to be... Ah, it's going to be... Tasty. It's going to be, be pow! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right after the break <laughs> to let you know exactly how this turns out. What's that?
Mussy is a thick, creamy mass your family will love. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, on our cook-along today, we're going with a dumpling and a donut theme. Yes. Genie D. It's a Genie D. Genie Donut Dumpling and D. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't really get any better than this. And to make our delicious donuts for dessert, we are using the secret ingredient, Clover Amasi. Now, with its creamy texture and rich flavor, it's perfect to use in the baking, in baking. And it is incredible in any other dish as well. Now, you simply have to whip up these delectable donuts at home. And to do that, all you need to do is SMS the keyword 33650, and we will send you all of the information. Clem, I mean, I can't even think straight. Look, we go, cra we go pretty crazy on a Tuesday. So it's it's a treat day. Let's I mean, start how about this. you cook and, you and just I just stand? Okay, cool. So in our <laughs> in our mixer already, we've got some yeast and sugar, absolutely mm -hmm. fine, and we've got a little bit of mousey in there. Mm -hmm. and what's happening mm. is the yeast is feeding off the sugar, and it's got all nice and bubbly because it's becoming alive. You just keep on doing your thing. Now I need a little bit of mousey. I mean, in. I've had a bite of this one. <laughs> I'm that girl that wants to put it down and have a bite of that one. No, it's fine. <laughs> I'll keep this one to myself. Okay, uh, teach me how to make them. All right, so, like I said, it's the yeast, it's the flour, it's the sugar that's in there already. Yep. Going in, mm -hmm. you start adding it. You're looking for a very, very oh, soft bread dough. Because, essentially, what a donut is, it's bread dough that's slightly sweetened. And I'm pretty sure it was actually the byproduct of people that have been making bread and like thought, how can we use this leftover dough, fry it up, Take the center Make it out. sweet. Exactly. Make it the dessert. So, yeah. there we go. Marcy going in. Oh, I love And I like stuff. it. It's so chunky. It's actually that lactic acid in there that gives it that flavor. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. too much. Sorry. Baking technique. No, you're I not. Get excited. Too much. So I, <laughs> when it comes Kim and I are so extra in the kitchen. It's actually <laughs> quite a thing. <laughs> We're so crazy. Okay, cool. Butter goes in with the eggs. Yeah. Stop that. Butter goes in. You're going to mix that all in. With eggs. Everything comes together like a beautiful, beautiful Three eggs. Sauce, Three egg, know? just the yellows. Just the yolks. Okay. There we Sugar. go. Done. Okay. Beautiful dough, which looks like this. Okay. And now the trick is actually, you know, you can use a rolling pin. I'm not a fan. With this one, it's very delicate. Also, when I do scones, own. kind of press it out. It's, it's okay. beautiful and gentle. Also, the dough likes to move on its own. So do that. You can kind of like do the whole pizza thing. You is know. the reason for that to get that fluffiness? So you want the donut, like you know when you taste that perfect donut, it's just it's just hard enough on the outside, but the inside has got to kind of melt in your mouth. Exactly. So is that the reason for the light? That, that, that's why you want a nice, delicate light dough okay. like that. You can roll it out. It's not the wrong thing. I just like using my hands when it's a nice soft dough. Okay. Then we're going to use our ring cutters. So you do okay. one, just like that. And of course, the donut's got to have a hole. So we're going to do this one with like a smaller, you know what, am I going to? We just press it out a bit. Yeah. Just like that. I was getting excited. I was like, I want a bigger donut in the hole. And then you got your donut. <laughs> our hole's a little bit bigger. It's okay. It's a diet donut. There's less of it to oh, eat. Oh, I'm going to eat that one. All yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going in, in our nice oil. And you know the oil's ready when it starts bubbling around the donut. Okay. But we don't waste on the show, right? So we're frying the donut holes. Donut holes <gasps> oh, so are these an ones absolute you thing, okay? I mean... I'll do the tasting. In all honesty, what happens to those holes of the donuts? Right? So we're frying it up. How's it... Am I right? Is it Amazing. good? Amazing. So now I've got some extra ingredients there for you, Jeannie. <laughs> we've got cinnamon donuts, but I want you to cut... Oh, we actually, we've got the whole ones just like this. You want to fill it? In here, we've got some Ooh. chocolate and some white chocolate swirl. How and do I fill this? Up. You can kind of just put it in there. Because remember, that, like, like a bread, it's nice and aerated in the center. I'm so excited. So you stick it in. Ooh. Oh, must I make a little hole? No, 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 actually, no, you, sh you should be fine. And you just squeeze. And I can feel the filling filling up inside the donut. And now we've got a jam, I mean, sorry, a chocolate filled donut. But this, you can obviously use whatever filling you want, jam Anything. or, oh my goodness, do you know what this is going to feel like to bite into this? It's going to feel so good. Am I being very extra and very decadent? It doesn't matter, it's Tuesday. <laughs> there we go. So that's your donut. You can <gasps> actually feel it filling up. There we go. And then your donut's done. Oh, this is going to be quite a tasty treat. Uh-huh. Imagine biting it. Yeah, I can't talk from now on because I, I mm, mm, mm. Mm. Well,
Well, that's our cooking done, because if you're going to have me, if you're going to have me, like, trying to talk you through this baking throughout the show, well, then you're going to be in a lot of trouble. But they look absolutely scrumptious. And because I don't know how to bake, I'm just learning as well as you are, remember to SMS Clover to 33650 to get this recipe actually sent directly to your phone so that you can make it. And here is a quick recap that Claire made for you when his mouth wasn't full. <laughs> Made with love by Clover. Oh. <laughs> it's so unlike me to have dessert before dinner. But when we return after the break, we serve main course. <laughs> Clover and Massey is a thick, creamy mass your family will love. Made with love by Clover.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We have got the incredible Mona in the loft with us today. <laughs> and then, of course, Gail and Clem, who whipped up a lot of magic for us. Now, you are just absolutely amazing. Thank you. Just spending time with you, you've got this infectious energy. You've got this amazing, honest spirit. Thank but you. also, you do so much good. Apart yeah. from being a sensational F actress, you also do Melon and Magic Sessions. I do. What is that? So, Melon and Magic Sessions are a platform for black excellence. Yeah. You know, I started realizing, especially after getting so much criticism from my second pregnancy, that women are really not showcased properly in this country. Like, we yeah. don't have um, women we can look up to and admire who aren't fixated about how, again, to be a uterus to yeah. the world, yeah. you know. Um, and through my platform as well, like Instagram, I just came into contact with such incredible women. And I was like, how do I get to know you, like, get to sit down and talk to you? And when I did that, I realized, whoa. They are doctors, they are engineers, they are yeah. all of these amazing women doing amazing things and most of them are entrepreneurs as well. You know, they get there and they're like, I actually started doing this because there wasn't anything for me, yeah. you know. Um, so I just create spaces in which these women can network and showcase exactly what it is that they do. And then I use my little tiny platform yeah. <laughs> as um, a way of then showcasing them to my followers in the yeah. hopes that it can grow, you know. Um, you know, I am but, open to sponsorships. <laughs> <laughs> but can I tell you, that's not even a, a, a race-specific thing. No. That's a gender-specific thing in this country. It because is. I've often thought, where is mentorship from for women of, mm -hmm. of that older generation as a whole? Exactly. I feel like... Honestly, black women are some of the most disrespected in society. I really do. Um, very unappreciated. And we never get to really voice out our frustrations because we're expected to be everything for everyone else and nothing for ourselves. So I'm just like, look, if you're a black woman out there and you're doing something incredible, I'm that somebody who's going to say, hey, pow, honey. Yeah. You know, so that's what I did with the Melanin Sessions. And I want my daughters to grow up in a society where they can look at black women and be proud of who they are. You know, so I got asked, why do you only focus on black women and not other races? Because I'm black and yeah. I give birth to yeah. black women. You know, so it's my obligation to focus on who I am and empower that sure. person. And everybody's got it, hey, other women are doing it. Everybody doing something for themselves. Did you have a mentor, or, or did you not, which is why mm -hmm. you feel the need to do this for other I women? did not. And I, I think, never had a mentor, yes. and I can tell you, it's so valuable. And it, I, like, where are the older yes. women who, who were meant to be my mentors? So yeah. this is so valuable, what what's, you were doing. What's sad is when women succeed, they want to succeed alone and in isolation mm. of other yeah. women. And that success is not sustainable when you do that. Collaboration is how we are going to yeah. get that economic freedom that we want, that empowerment that we want, that yeah. self-esteem boost that we want. Yeah. And when you have a room of women that gather together, it's magic, man. Yeah. That's why Million and Magic Sessions. You know, Maya Angelou, who's my favorite author, wrote yes. that things I, I, things, I wish, I think, things I wish my mother told me. And Madonna once did an interview where she says, you know, raising a daughter is the hardest thing in the world. Mm. But the one thing that I want her to learn is self-value yes. and self-respect. Yes. What is the one thing that you want to teach your daughter in life? It's, I, I would say exactly the same yeah. thing. I want my daughter to understand that her purpose is ordained. It's, it's, it's for a reason. Mm. She's not here by mistake. I don't want her to have to search the answers in some little boy or search the answers in some little club. I want her to <laughs> yeah. search the answer within herself oh. and continue to grow and aspire to be that. That's why I say I found myself through becoming a mother, and I guess I'm sort of like extending that self to others so yeah. that they can have the impetus to do the same, you know? So be Girl, yourself, be oh, yourself. I want yourself. to just hug you. You are magic. <laughs> Girl, you are magic. You are pow. <laughs> Many Melanin Magic sisters out there. I'm coming for all of y'all. Can I offer you some bok choy? Eating. Yes, ooh. How do I know that that's, oh, that's, wait. We yes, know. which one is the pork? We know, that's so the chicken. Is that chicken. chicken? Which one is ours? The well, the well done ones, the good <laughs> ones. <laughs> I, I did not hear that. Mm. Herbs? Mm -hmm. Taste will tell us. No, God, she mm -hmm. can't even tell mm -hmm. me. She doesn't know. Those are Those yours, ones, yeah. yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter. I eat chicken. I'm gonna cut. <laughs> okay, there you go. I think these are really looking good. Well, I can't Just wait to, to taste sure. them. Join us again tomorrow when we hang out with the elegant Gail Mabalane, mother of two and wife to music legend Cabello Mabalane. It's going to be fun. We're going to be chatting about everything. Life, love, music. Oh, Gail is Oh, right now I want all of this. How, are you loving it? Is Gail it delicious? Gail is stunning. No. Gail is stunning. Let you let are me, stunning. Let me Thank you so much for being here. Gomez. Taste it. What does the Saint Gomez say? Is it a go?
Pride Days is going to be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Ciao. The Sangomas are loving you. <laughs>